Welcome to one of the weirdest disaster saves I've been sent so far. 1942 Germany and things look weird. Now this is a non-historical, so anything could have happened. And the person who sent this in did leave some context. I'll uh, I'll ask the editor to put it up on screen for you. But in short, he's been at war since 1936, and um, the war has not necessarily progressed to his advantage. So uh, let's see how terrible it really is. This is a giant mess. After a whole life of searching, I may finally have found where I belong. Too bad it's a dump. Let's see here. So allies, including Italy and Turkey, Axis does have some strength to it. Why? Why are the democratic Nordics in the Axis? I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a look at the diplomatic situation, the Axis are at war with allies and Soviets, so common turn. However, Germany, being the leader of the Axis, is only at war with the allies. Somehow his friends and allies got involved with the war with the Soviets, but he's managed to stay out of it for now. Clever, because if we do that, we die. So, uh, Italy? No. So we're not gonna join the fight against the Soviets yet. It would appear the Soviets are also at war with the allies, which is gonna play to our advantage. Both sides sides are going to be bleeding each other, which is good. So it looks like France isn't as terrible anymore, so you won't be able to quickly overrun them, which is unfortunate. There's a little Vichy France down here. I don't know if I can knock them out quickly. Their southern border here looks lightly defended, but honestly, the troops you've got here are, well, you, you can see what they are. Then you've got a push going on in Italy, and you've got troops encircled in all possible positions, so I don't know how you ended up here. Then in northern France, there's more divisions and, and an incredibly large amount of divisions that you've somehow managed to get encircled. I'm gonna try and have them take Dunkirk, I guess? I'm gonna delete all of your front lines and we're gonna draw new ones to make things a little cleaner because I think you've mostly been battle planning and there's nothing inherently wrong with just battle planning, but it's not the best idea either. Get rid of all the front lines and then draw fresh ones. First off, I'm gonna look at your divisions. Uh, what are you making? Tanks, light tanks? Okay, so this is the division design Germany starts with. This is not a good tank design. They're too small in terms of units involved with it. They don't have they don't have a lot of hit points, they take a lot of damage, and they cannot continue an attack for long. Plus, they are light tanks. Light tanks are fast and they're good early game. But once you pass 1939, early 1940, they lose any edge they have, and you really, really want to focus more on medium tanks. If you want early war, light tanks can work, but they have a limited shelf life and that shelf life has passed. What you want is to replace all of these with medium tanks, add more motorized. For my tank divisions, I like this number, the combat width, to be 30 because 30 is not optimal for planes, but planes don't matter. You can push with any division in planes as long as it's offensively oriented, but 30 is also optimal for forests and most of Europe and the Soviet Union is forests and that is where tanks can struggle. The optimal combat width helps. How do we design that division? We add as many medium tanks tanks as we can and then fill up with motorized or mechanized depending on what your production is capable of until we can get an organization between 30 and 35. That is ideal and I like to get my speed as high as possible. 12 in a perfect world but anything above 9 is good. We're gonna stop production of them. You have some infantry in production. So this is good infantry. This is a holding unit. I don't know if 18 is still as optimal as it used to be but this will hold a line. I would remove the field hospital Hospitals. You still have plenty of manpower, so I would remove the field hospitals. Everything else here is good. The rangers help with the extra soft attack, I believe. Do they? Yes, they give extra soft attack to your artillery. The artillery helps deal some damage to your attackers, and the engineers give you some entrenchment and movement bonuses. These are very good for holding a front line. If you want to dish out a little damage while you're at it, add some uh, line artillery. A line artillery. One unit of light. Li oh my god, I can't speak. One unit of line artillery can help dish out more damage, but it looks like our industry isn't capable. What you also want, if you're not going for control of the air, is adding support anti-air. This is vital if you're not going for air dominance. And at this point in the game, I think we're not going to have air dominance. Unfortunately, we don't have anti-air either. So we'll have to leave this as is. Motorized infantry. This is not good. Why? 
Motorized are a lot more expensive and their strength is their speed, plus a little bit of hardness with the right research. That is entirely wasted if you use these as a defensive division, which this is configured to be a defensive division. What you want from your motorized is budget shock troops. Budget shock troops, something like this. It's fast, is a little more hard than basic infantry, and it has a lot of firepower. It's 30 combat with like the tanks, it's all right. This is a good pushing division if you don't have tanks, but do have reasonable amounts of motorized and artillery. We don't have any of that, so this is a non-starter, but this is something we can use as a budget option. You can tell this requires a lot of artillery and a lot of trucks. We have neither of those, so for now, we're gonna leave trucks for what they are. Uh, sorry, no trucks. We're low on stability, but it's above 50, same for war supports. We would like to fix that and probably exhort heroism and do something about the bombing. That will help. War bonds will be helpful. Raids or improve worker conditions will be helpful. Intelligence, not now. I like making the Reichskommissariats, but we don't really control anything. You're still on partial mobilization. Please, sir, go to war economy. We're on extensive conscription and we still have a million manpower, more or less, so we'll keep that. We have Schacht here because we never did Sudeten. Oh, you never did Sudetenland? Did you bypass it? Oh, you went befriend Czechoslovakia. Ah, yeah, I see you went non-historical. Maybe that's why Czechoslovakia is gone. Yeah, they're in the Axis, they're our friends, but more or less our friends. Not optimal, but hey, that's the direction you want it to go, it's fine. I'm gonna replace Schacht with Goebbels. He gives us more war support, which is gonna affect stability as well. So, I think I want the extra war support. Funk will still be building mills, and Himmler, are we really occupying all that much? Yeah, we'll keep him around for now. Military High Command we have Halder for extra division attack, he's good. Reder for the surface fleet, that's all right. I would go with Dönitz, but you do you. Göring, all right. Rommel for armor, good. Uh, just just go medium tanks though, please. Schorner is good, and then we can still pick somebody else. Hauser for division recovery rate, or von Rundstedt for division recovery rate. Let's go with von Rundstedt, extra division recovery rate is really good, especially if you're on the defensive. That is our political power gone for now. Research, advanced radar, it's only 22 days, but let's take a look at everything else. So you're, you're more or less up to date on things, more or less, I guess, except for armor. Eh, even armor is not that far behind. Ooh, you're lacking here though. So better artillery, advanced fire control. So we'll, we'll let this finish. It's just one more day, but then we're dumping that into improving the anti-air. Dispersed industry, that's Good, this is good. I don't really see anything else I want to invest in right now. Maybe mech. Let's go with air and try to dig our way out of this hole. I do not want to give up Italy. I really don't want to give up Italy. So everything we have here, I'm gonna put under a single general. God, everything is so disorganized. It's it's horrific. So we'll put these units all under von Witzleben. Even if we can't push, I'll use these guys to hold Italy. We deprive Italy of much of its strength if we can just hold Italy. We are gonna try and bust the encirclement out, but no guarantees that's gonna work. We are abandoning southern France, I think. I would rather set myself here in the Pyrenees or let Spain fall and devote those troops to Italy. Can't make that choice yet now. Stop all attacks and I'm gonna extricate them or try to extricate them to this line here. But most of these are just completely spent divisions that I need to, I still need to convert. Most of these tanks are just, I don't wanna be rude, but these tanks at this point are garbage. This mess. I really don't understand what happened here. In short, most of these guys are not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna convert everything that is not an infantry unit already into an infantry unit and consolidating it. And hopefully we can use these guys to push. What I want to do is take back Innsbruck and sit on this gap. So we close the uh, Italian access to Bavaria. And I want to close this pocket of two divisions here because they are encircled. And if they're encircled, we can kill them so I don't have to fight them. Next, there is this gap here. There's a, a giant gap here around Vienna. I don't really have the units to man that. If I'm quick enough on closing this, I can divert units, but not really sure we can do that. So we'll set up a defense around Graz that can hopefully hold, but I doubt it. If not Graz, then 
and these two tiles here in Upper Austria, just to secure our southern border. That leaves us with this encirclement. This is dead. I can't save these guys. And this encirclement. This is a very large encirclement. I don't know what you did here. Is this a failed naval invasion? Is this failure to respond to a naval invasion? I don't know, but it's horrible. These units are very likely to die unless I can take back Dunkirk, which I can't guarantee. So I'm going to try to bust them out, but no guarantee of success. And then the regular Western Front. This is just going to hold. Honestly, this is fine. No attacking is going to happen there. This can definitely hold. 75 mils making infantry equipment. Impressive. We're going to dial all of this back a bit. Let's 15 on that. Let's put 15 on that. Let's strip a whole bunch of mills away from the from the guns. Improved light tanks, no. Like I said, we're not going to use light tanks. Transports, no. Naval bombers, no. This is just the basic production that Germany starts with. More AA. AA is going to be desperately needed. So in terms of production, we'll focus on building up a medium tank force and making enough equipment to replenish our other losses. We're also going to need oil, though I can trade with the Soviets. But by the time we fight the Soviets, I am going to need my own supply of oil and, importantly, rubber. So let's make sure we build some of that as well. So synthetics, very important, very helpful. More mills is always helpful, I suppose, but not yet. And maybe radar once we do get a bit of an air force going. For now, now we'll limit ourselves to infrastructure, synthetics, and maybe afterwards some military factories or fancy things like radar. That just reminds me, I should not have fired Schacht. He actually helps me build that. My bad. If we can take Innsbruck, I'll be happy. We'll be able to clean that up quickly. Pull these guys out, fall back to Graz. This is pretty much a hopeless offensive. We're not going to take Bologna. Then the withdrawal to the Spanish line needs to be sped up up a little bit because it's going way too slowly. Our advanced fire control can go and we'll instead pick something anti-air. This front seems stable. Once combat ends in a couple of tiles, I'll make the last couple of conversions, but I think I can hold this line relatively easy. We've got the visions trapped here. Just going to delete them or recover some of the manpower. Same with these guys. If I'm not going to be able to get them out, maybe? No, I don't think I can get them out. If it's certain that I can't get them out, I might as well just delete them. Them. Oh, these guys might bust out towards Dieppe. Ah, they made it. All right, they made it to Dieppe, and we're immediately going to sail all the way over there. Extract out to sea, please. All right, so these guys are out. Thank God, alhamdulillah. Uh, these guys, yeah, they're not. They're, they're not going to get out. It's looking like we might do it. We might actually do it. If we can reinforce meme the division here. Ah, attack, attack. It looks like we might be able to reinforce meme them. Okay, national focuses. There's nothing really interesting here. Modular construction for cheaper subs. That's pretty much all I can think about. Oh, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Dunk. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they got units in. Oh, I was so close. I have command power. I'm going to force attack. I'm going to try. Come on. Oh, we did it. Okay, these guys are free. Immediately evacuate out to sea. <laughs> I don't have enough convoys to pull all of them out. Oh, okay. So we'll just have to make sure the defense of Dunkirk holds while I build more convoys. I am very happy that I've been able to pull these guys out. That would have been a pretty significant loss. So yeah, I, I got most of those divisions out. That also means I'm not short as much equipment as I used to be. So deficit is looking way, way better. I've done a lot of consolidation. I've deleted units that have no purpose. And as a result, we're starting to dig our way out of this hole, this, this very large hole we were in. With the tide slowly turning to our favor. I use the word favor loosely. <laughs> Let's start planning for the future. So these panzer divisions, not good. Like I said before, just not good. Instead, we're going to make them into medium tank divisions. 32 org, reasonable speed, reasonable soft attack. I think this will work for what we want to do. Logistics, I think, yeah, logistics is going to help. And then anti-air, support anti-air. We can definitely not afford this right now because there are several divisions using the template, but I am going to be deleting those divisions. I will train up fresh ones from scratch. Meanwhile, Operation Bully Italy is moving ahead at full steam. It's incredibly enjoyable. I cannot put into words how fun it is to bully Italy in every every incarnation of the country. We have dealt with the immediate threats and now we can start working on the solution, our tanks. And these will be our elite units. I will be renaming these after channel members. As we get more factories, I'm going to make some fancy stuff like 
um, Nebelwerfers. More soft attack. Soft attack is usually what you want. Gentlemen, it is with great enjoyment that I can report the near total collapse of Italy. So how much longer can Italy stand? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to take Milan, Turin, Venice. They got a little bit more. They, they have a lot of victory points in the north. But as a fighting force, I would say Italy is um, out of this. God, we've taken four and a half million casualties. What if I make like a concentrated push up towards Nantes and Rennes? I don't see a lot of units there, so uh, there might be a gap in the line. There's not a lot of French divisions here. I don't think France has a lot of divisions. No, they don't. So even a single army here could do a lot of damage, cause more chaos and confusion, and that's what I want. Meanwhile, I'll just let them bleed themselves dry up north. As long as the Soviets don't go to war with me, we've got this. There are some troops here, it appears. Well, maybe if I can, I can go around them. Who knows? They might let me encircle them. <laughs> Maneuver warfare, guys. Maneuver warfare. Can't really complain. This is going remarkably well. If I can get to tour. That's a good supply hub to take. Might be able to encircle La Rochelle if I'm quick on the ball here. You stay there, you go there, and that will be the encirclement of La Rochelle. Some units in Limoges. All the damage I can do, I have to strike while the iron is hot. I see an opportunity here. This unit has spent itself, so push now. Now to clean that pocket, I'm going to halt the attacks. I'm going to let them starve. This is going well. We've taken tours. We are good going to push out further and then maybe we can roll France maybe oh Greece has declared war on Turkey that means I can invite the Greeks into my faction welcome another friend that is the fall of Brest that is the fall of Cherbourg redirect these units to the main front and then I can start maneuvering towards Paris I didn't think I'd get here the south here is looking disgusting though <laughs> Oh no. Hey, and we returned to Dieppe. I think this is where we evacuated a couple. Uh, Yeah, this is where we evacuated from a couple of months ago. Sucks to suck, France. Sucks to suck. And Paris is wide open. We're moving in. No, Paris is no longer wide open. We're not moving in. This is turning into one of the most enjoyable reversals I've seen so far in France. <laughs> We've just swapped land. <laughs> That's fine. Northern France is more valuable than Southern France. It's fine. Let's get the Brussels. Let's get the Brussels. Come on. Belgium's is really hard to defend for the AI it, because it, it is it is just very flat and planes are difficult to defend. Okay, I'm just going to launch a small, a small, a full scale attack on the north. See if I can break through. They're solidifying a defense of sorts. So maybe not. Maybe they're trying to pull out, I think. Take in Antwerp. Come on. Take Brussels. How is Belgium doing? Belgium is out. Okay, deep breath. Let's see how this changes the map. Okay, so some free guns and chaos. Absolute chaos. If we can break through now, absolute total chaos. We have a gap. The line looks disgusting. Okay, we're going to delete the line, all of the lines. New front line. So Field Marshal front line can now cover this entire thing. I have enough units to make that happen. The army that we've been using for the attack can now cover this little pocket around Breda. Now it's just a matter of taking a deep breath, getting everything ready for the initial... Uh, for, for the mass redeployment of troops. I'm going to force deploy a couple of extra units to really fill out the field marshal's army. That is a full field marshal army ready. Full redeployment now. Oh, they know what I'm doing. They know what I'm doing and they're stopping me. It's all falling apart now. It's all falling apart. Oh, no. I have accidentally Italy. Oh, no. I've, I've redirected the entire Italian army. All these troops. I Oh, no. I've just given away Italy. I'm an unmitigated idiot. I'm mildly concerned about... Spain, that slowly vanishing. Uh, <laughs> and all of that Vichy French land I liberated up north is now also slowly vanishing again. Oh, what I really need to do is either punch through here somewhere or make a beeline from Paris to the Swiss border. And if I can't do that, I'm pulling this army out and we're, we're going around. We're, we're going around somewhere else. Uh, I'll, I'll probably ship them over to either Italy or Spain. So a little bit of a harassment campaign in Spain to keep Spain in the fight. Push back where I can. I should have just defended Spain properly and not done this dumb thing in, in France. And I, I was just so excited that I, I could potentially get like a 
big encirclement in, but it's not over yet. I can still get something done. Are those Chinese troops? From Valladolid up north to Oviedo or Bilbao. And then we can cut off everything in the east. But Spain is falling and falling fast because I don't have the units to make an actual front line here. I, I just don't. I have units for harassment and small maneuvers, but no real front line work. No, pretty much instantly run into more opposition than I can realistically take. And supply issues, of course, like horrible... <laughs> Horrible supply issues in this area. I guess we're shipping those troops out. Maybe towards Yugoslavia. Yeah, maybe we're just gonna abandon Spain and ship the boys over to someplace else. Yeah, I move troops here. The AI pretty much immediately mirrors me by putting more troops there as well. I think I caught him with low orcs, so maybe I can punch through. Yeah, it doesn't look like we'll actually punch through, but there was an attempt. No, whenever it looks like I'm able to break through somewhere, <laughs> they, <laughs> they pull a billion divisions out of their ass and just mirror whatever I'm doing. Uh, I might be able to take Ferrara, though. I also have better fighters, well, better airplanes in general, so I'll start putting them into production. I like cannons and heavy machine guns. I don't know if it's still the meta. The AI is doing some weird things. They they absolutely had me decked here, and now they're suddenly moving troops away from the front line. I'm going to very gratefully make use of this opportunity to move my troops in there. If you're gonna give me an opening, I will damn well take it. The West holds, and the Italian front I can advance. Oh, and, and we don't want to talk about the East either. We have essentially created an encirclement now. So everything around Venezia and further into the Balkans is cut off from everything French. They left Venice open, so I'm gonna start an offensive there. And I think this brown army that's currently been able to push in like a lot should just go on the offensive. Go on the offensive and I can still save the Balkan. I can still save the Balkan. Oh yes, yes! Okay, so this whole Italian thing is now encircled. I want to take credit for this. I really do, but this is more a AI stupidity rather than my not inconsiderable genius that has created this situation. Collapse of Italy, collapse of the Balkan front, and that will secure us. That means I can now set up to take out France from the south, maybe. And that is the last Italian divisions holding out. That's another 20-ish divisions gone. Should be bada bing bada boom. Cleaned up. That is the last of the Balkan pocket. And then I can redeploy that army to deal with the Turkish breakout. Oh nasty. All right, pocket Delveth. Army redeploying now. Move, move, move. And this is contained down to Istanbul, and I can push them and secure the straight crossing. So every now and then, gotta look back to see if I'm missing any disastrous things, but it looks like we're fine. Just gonna keep building mills from this point forward and getting my production running. Oh, we've pushed into Istanbul, and I think I can push past Istanbul. If I can, I just need to keep this offensive rolling forward. I, I need to take out Turkey while I can. Oh, they retook Thessaloniki. Did I get reinforced memed out of the tile? Of course I got reinforced memed out of the tile. All right, Thessaloniki once again in circle. Destroy the units there. No, stop it. Okay, that is Greece cleaned up. I'll just keep the troops in the area. I am building a supply hub here. So once the supply hub finishes, I'll take the rest of Greece. They'll have to do. Tanks are re being redeployed here to try and pick a hole there. And these guys should be ready any day now to naval invade, I guess. Also decide, I've also discovered, and to my horror, <laughs> that I could have gotten my submarines into the Mediterranean at any time. They're here now, and they are wrecking havoc on all the fleets there. So these subs are gonna have some good hunting here, and Raider, sorry, Dunitz is having a lot of fun. All right, let's go kill Finland, hopefully. All units go there. You go there, and 23 divisions are going to tear up Finland in a hurry. Yeah, we're really starting to sink a lot of escort ships. We're going to start killing enemy navies here. The Mediterranean will be ours. Yeah, I think we're going to roll Finland. I think the Nordic Defense Council can uh, clean up the rest of its mess on its own. Just make sure that we keep this secured. Okay, well, there has been a miracle. Bulgaria has somehow pushed across the Istanbul Strait and has actually 
pretty much resolve the problem here. I'm gonna funnel my troops in. We're gonna have ourselves a little drive. Now we're starting to push out. As long as we get the occupation from the territories we're pushing in, we create uh, an effective shield against the Soviet Union for our <laughs> faction. Ah, look at that. We're, yeah, we're really shredding navies now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna lose a lot of capitals. And I haven't really lost all that many submarines and I can keep this up for uh, a good long while. Now that's gonna be the death of Turkey. And the West, while it's under pressure, it holds. And while it's holding, it is definitely starting to bleed the enemy dry. There goes Turkey. All right, so there's just these stupid islands left. But other than that, we have Turkey overrun and we'll continue the push down into... Yes, 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 yes. We continue the push down into Northern Africa. Yeah, it looks like we're carving through the Middle East and then we'll set course for Suez. The rest of North Africa should fall. I just don't look forward to holding a front in Africa, like the Egyptian front is, it's always annoying. I don't really want to deal with it, but we'll, we'll make it work. I can't really deploy more units because I still have not insignificant equipment deficit, but everything is improving. I'm very satisfied with the results so far. Um, what just happened? What? How? Why? What? I, I don't understand what just happened. Free France capitulated. Oh no! Damascus was their capital! This was the French capital! That is why they capitulated! As a result, we are launching a full-on offensive in northern France, and we might be able to punch a hole clean through now. These guys are all going to be in, in complete disarray. Same for the uh, other front here. We're gonna go for it. We are just going to go for it. This is this is the moment I've been waiting for, I think. I think this is where we beat this campaign once and for all. Our submarine sunk another battleship. Oh, I love these subs! It's starting to get very confused, but... Unless I am mistaken... The entirety of France and the Low Countries is now encircled. Finish off the envelopment. Redeploy troops to make that a reality. Second army group can probably start mopping up in Spain. And these guys aren't as important anymore. Uh, I'd rather have the Soviets take those tiles than I don't have to garrison them. <laughs> Everything's going well all of a sudden. Oh, if I'd known that, I would have drove straight for Syria day one. That is all the ports taken. Everything here is trapped. They're encircled and they will be destroyed. <laughs> I am proud of this one. All out assault. Kill it all off. I am so glad this... Uh, uh, for a minute there, I thought I was going to have to fight an enormous campaign through North Africa and then wild naval invasions that would be required everywhere. But no, that wasn't required at all. All I had to do apparently was take Syria. There goes Luxembourg. There goes the last armies. So General Witzleben is going to take his army. will hit that side of the UK. They don't have a fleet out. Maybe because it's all sunken or because it's stuck in the Mediterranean now, which would be funny. There goes another battleship. Oh, I love these submarines. Once the pocket, the last remaining troops here have been dealt with, I'll redirect some troops to North Africa, perhaps. Air, uh, such as it is, is probably best served by fighting over the UK in a little bit. So take out the UK, take out Ireland. That should stop most naval invasions. Might need to take a couple of islands as well, but I should be able to stop most naval invasions from happening. And then I build up to take the Soviets, which should be relatively easy. Just gonna flood them with spies and do my thing. Colin, Big Meowster, Hydrazone, and Hendrik, you boys are gonna be the tip of the spear here. Landings are happening without all that much opposition. Two divisions there, one division there, one division there. Spread out, take land, go. You go there, you go there. Expand, push the UK away, and land ho! That's uh, easy as that. So we've landed, and I was just a matter of overwhelming whatever they have. And our trip through North Africa Africa is pretty much unopposed. Wow. Ah, the Italian Union has capitulated. Why? What did we take? Okay, so apparently Benghazi was the capital of, or, or was it Tobruk? Any case, <laughs> this was considered core for the 
Italian Union, so they have now also at last capitulated. Uh, the UK is gonna die. There's no way in hell they got anything left. The fall of London. Yes. And it's all over for the UK. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Also gotta keep blanketing the Soviet Union in spies. We've landed in Ireland. Let's quickly overrun them. We've taken the Isle of Man. We've taken these two islands up there. So I don't think I need to fear uh, major naval invasions anymore. Just gonna mop up the med and withdraw my fleets, withdraw my armies and line up on the Soviet border once uh, North Africa is secured. Because North Africa is still not a concern, but a, a possible concern. With the fall of Ireland, I now control pretty much all of Europe. I don't think we'll be seeing large-scale American naval invasions, maybe from Iceland or like really far out, but doubt it. And I'll keep this fleet ready on strike force just to fend off possible invasions. Not sure if it's actually going to matter. All armies are now going to be pulled back and we're setting up for the Soviet Union. All right, let's launch a couple more naval invasions. Take out Cyprus, take out Malta, take out the Sardinia and Corsica, then of course, the Balearic Islands. I just want to clean up the Mediterranean so I don't have anything to worry about when it comes to the Allies. And then it's uh, a straight shot for the Soviets, who I am still trying to spy on. It's really annoying to do so. <laughs> Italian Navy shows up, immediately gets deleted. Like, they, they don't have any more escorts. So everything uh, they they oh, they put out just immediately gets sunk. Right, in preparation of the eventual Soviet offensive, upgrade all the railways to the max because obviously, we need to do that. Not sure about the north here. Do I defend it or not? I don't really have all that many troops. I'll put troops here to defend that. Um, I'm not going to call Romania and Hungary in, so that flank should be fine. I'll hold the Königsberg pocket and we'll try to push to link up with the main front and we'll use tanks to go through Breslau, trying to reach the Hungarian border before too many Soviets show up and then cut off everything they have in Prague and keep driving for the Soviet heartland. Yeah, that's pretty much my plan. This is gone. This is cleaned up. Oh, that's so many divisions destroyed. I have liberated North Africa. Meanwhile, I'm getting my collaboration governments up. Everything is going well. Yes. Yes, I'm very happy. I've also redeployed my subs to raid the Baltic and the Black Sea. All my units are pretty much in position. All I need to do is answer the call to arms and I can go in like guns blazing day one. Troops are on this border. We should be able to hold that. Even push back to something a little more beneficial to me. Troops are on this border and that border. We've got our memes in position. We have... Uh, we're still lacking troops on the border with Sweden, though. Well, Finland. I'm not sure I can get my troops out there in time. We're gonna accept that call to arms before the Soviets do anything. I'm just gonna go. I am just gonna go for it. Let's head for that northern border up there. Is this dumb? Maybe. If it works, it's not stupid. Drive like your lives depend on it. Uh, here, maybe we can make some sort of pincer move. I've got a lot of casts up, so we should, in theory, be able to do a lot of damage with cast. Slow the game down. Well, at least the Soviets have been cut in half here. So that front's already looking good. And we'll use these guys to uh, destroy this. Like, they got a fort line, but it's very thinly held. I have massive cast advantage up. Should be able to make short work of that. And just big push. Big push! Motorized is going to reach the border. <laughs> it's, it's happening. Come on, take the tile. Take the tile. Oh, we did it. Oh, it looks so horrific, but we did it. Okay, let's let's undo all of these stupid orders now and, and draw them properly. Main front against the actual Soviets. Motorized, such as they are, should set up a front line against the inner pocket here. Mostly to keep the door from being closed. Something like this. Just quickly rush this down with high level aggression. That's definitely a good first blow, yes. Pretty pleased with that. All right, so that sees our Czechoslovak friends back in business. Soviet naval invasions being dealt with, and I have near total naval, naval superiority. I don't expect naval invasions anytime soon. Should be able to sink anything they put out to sea. This line is not the best to push, so we'll stop the push and just defend there. So that is my first stroke against the Soviet menace. And what did that get us? All right, that first blow against the Soviet menace, we killed almost 800 thousand Soviets. Not bad for a 
first hit. I don't think I need the Volkssturm and the non-discriminatory recruitment anymore, so we're switching over. I can afford to lose a little bit of manpower. I can always go down up another recruitment law if it turns out I need more manpower. I think this is good. I can take out the Soviets relatively quickly here, I think. If I can get a couple more collaboration governments in before I drive too far, we should be good good. Like, they are collapsing. Yeah, I think the majority of the Soviet army is just busy in China for some godforsaken reason. They've been stuck here for years. That's fine. Let them all fight it out amongst each other. I'll I'll come in as the eventual winner. <laughs> We're in Odessa. That means we can now crush that. So they're, they're just losing everywhere. All over the place. Losing, 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 losing. Come on. Push the unit. Push the unit. Push the unit. Push the unit. I said tons of soft attack. Just blast them apart. All right, that is the southern section cut off. Motorized can finish up there. Rest of the infantry to the main front. Main front must always advance. That is the Soviet southern front gone. And Romania is back in one piece. Hurrah! Now let's keep the offensive going. I need to get my motorized into position where they can do a lot of damage. This looks lightly held, so I'm gonna plunge my motorized in there and drive as far into the Soviet Union as I can with them. Meanwhile, the rest of the offensive is still going all right. It could be better, but it's not terrible. It, it, it's it's all right. So let's get to Dnipropetrovsk. That's where all the fuel is, or at least the supply. If we can get there, we can push further. The tanks are advancing. They're advancing. We'll create another a small encirclement here. You head for Voroshilovgrad. I think that's a supply hub. No, it's not, but a victory point. Nonetheless, take Rostov, and then we can sit on that supply hub. Stop the tanks. We've taken Rostov. Let's now clean up the pocket here, and then I can redirect the other troops elsewhere. And uh, the motorized have broken through. Let's drive into Crimea with the motorized. Vlasov, sure, I'll take your free troops and then disband them because the template's not that amazing. Let's uh, bust out of Crimea, go through there. Perfection, perfection, perfection. Yeah, that does definitely look like a bit of a death blow to the Soviet Union, doesn't it? All right, motorized coming in from the north. I'll push the Turkish front up from the south and we'll hopefully meet around Baku. I'll have another front with the allies, but I'll just split off one army. Overall, going well, going great. I can't complain. I can always complain. It's one of my many talents, but so far, so good. I have to say this has gone remarkably well. First collab in and second one being prepared. Taking Stalingrad. Well, that was easier than I expected. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain about that. German armor headed to Moscow. The end is in sight. Just got to keep up the pressure. Just got to keep up the pressure. And the armor has taken Moscow. Congratulations, Colin and Massey. Medals all around. Knights cross oak leaves. All right, so that's Moscow fallen. One collaboration government in the Soviets are about to capitulate. Let's see what that looks like. I don't like it. I do, we do like that. A lot of equipment coming our way. We're about to have a very long front line with people I don't want to deal with. I guess I'm rushing troops all the way over to all those places. Big, long, stretchy front lines coming up. This is going to be peak annoying. At least I can proclaim the greater German Reich. Hurrah! We'll now mop up Riga, we'll mop up these weird remains of Finland, and then we'll see about the east. I think at this point we can safely say disaster is won. All of Europe, including the United Kingdom, the old British Isles has been conquered and subdued. The Axis is pretty much dominant on the continent. There are still allies, most notably in America, Africa, and India. There is still a common turn, which is mostly just China. Both can be defeated relatively easily. We still have millions of manpower. We can get more. We can go up several more recruitment laws if we absolutely need to. We have more than enough equipment to carry on the fight. The Air Force is able to achieve its goals pretty much everywhere now. And the Navy is more powerful than ever due to the enormous amount of submarines and sheer damage they've done through convoy raiding. But I think this is saved. I think it's safe to say we're done here. This was a very, very weird save game. It, it got pretty progressively weirder, but I think we're at a point that this is saved. We can put a stop to this. So the Axis against the common turns and ally, but 
we are pretty much the top dog now. And all of our beloved friends have been liberated except for whoever's in the Americas because honestly, I don't want to go there. So Ethiopia, Catholic, Mexico, and the Dutch East Indies are all that's not standing. So be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a very fun disaster save to play with its ups and downs. If you guys want to see your disaster saves featured on the channel, make sure to send them in through the link down in the description below. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.